name is Ammar Shams. I'm the Regional Head of Corporate Sustainability for HSBC in MENA. This is the last week of the Ramadan series, and I'd like to talk to you about Ramadan, what it's meaning in Islam is, and what about specifically about the final days of Ramadan. For Muslims, the Quran was first transmitted to us during the last 10 days of Ramadan. And therefore, to celebrate that momentous occasion, we spend the last 10 days of Ramadan in additional prayers. We stay up very, very late. And that, of course, means that mosques operate way beyond midnight. And uh, most mosques transmit those prayers um, for specifically for those individuals in the neighborhood who want to be part of that but can't make it to the mosque for any sorts of reasons. Whether they're incapable to make the, to, to, to walk to the mosque or whether they uh, can't sit, can't pray on their knees, they'd stay at home, but they want to be part of that occasion. I think for expatriates, this will form part of their memories of living in an Arab Islamic world many, many years later when they leave. This will form part of their memories of having been here. It's what makes this experience unique. And I think it's also something that ought to be celebrated.